Like if 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 you continue to beat your head against the wall to stop a headache and the headache's not stopping, maybe you should consider another avenue opposed to continue to beat your head against the wall. So what's the next step? Right. What would be what would be if you the, had the choice if this happened to our young man, mm -hmm. what would be your what would you handle it? Instead of coming from the perspective, okay, to just for the record, our brothers and these are our brothers and sisters we're talking about that are going down yes. the picketing. There's no division in terms of that they're not our brothers and sisters. But in terms of advice, as the Grand Sheik said the concept of picketing and asking for justice and um, when you're already in a position where you've, your rights have been already violated, you sh there should be a lawsuit, not a rally. N not to say that the emotions and the spirit of what the people are going through is real. There yeah. needs to be something done with that energy. We need to use that energy, but what we're saying is lawfully, we're not going to get any results from that because of our approach and the ignorance to law and as we know ignorance of the law is no excuse so is justice or can justice be served in approaching it that way mm. no but if these people or can come together in a class action lawsuit or in a lawsuit in proper person that's a defense yes so okay so now we're seeing that here it is as time always come soon. We want to touch on what's happening on January 8th. It says the first annual Earth Day conference and Earth Day celebration. Why, 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 why do this? Just to give honors to the prophet because January 8th is the prophet's Earth Day. That's the day that, that the prophet for the nations, the last avatar, came on the scene in order to get these people from engaging in their sinful activity, which is, you know, take, accepting names that dilute to slavery, um, not taking their place amongst the affairs of men, disrespecting the, the matriarchal principle, etc. Mm -hmm. Right? So, on that day is the day that we just choose to honor him. It's, it's something that is standard based on the history of Moors in America since 1913 with the coming of the Prophet. So it's something that's standard, and it's the first annual because it's the first time that we're doing it in, in this jurisdiction called Ontario Territory. Yes. So tell me about the time, what's going to be happening, all of that jazz. Okay. It will be at Falstaff Community Center, January the 8th, which is 40 Falstaff Avenue, one block south of Wilson, and one block east of Jane, between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. Admission is on a donation basis. Again, speakers will be uh, Grand Mufti Adisa Tudiel and Grand Sheik Kudro Adwa El. We will be giving out awards, uh, Noble Jewel Day award recipients to, and they call it royalty catering, Yen Sumo Youth and Community Development, African Food Basket, Breaking Relief Care, uh, Black Women in Child Magazine, Amojo Learning Center, Amla Kawe, Beta Seb, uh, Thiando, Hymen Aman, All Eyes on Egypt, Brother Sankofa, uh, Brother Halo, uh, Brother Aman, Asar, uh, Brother I'm Blind, uh, Uprising International Paper, uh, Sister Moot, Aset uh, Melanin L, uh, CMP Studio, Spicy or Not Restaurant, Tanisha King, and Two Sun Graphics will be recipients to the Drew Ali Day Award. We want to formers, uh, Charlie Baba, Sion Sheik, Kizzy Roots, Lady Locks, Black Child, Travis Blackman, and hopefully Sankofa, you can bless us with some of your skills. The vendors, uh, we got so far, again, vendors, um, there's not many left, so get in contact with us as soon as possible. Uh, vendors are, yeah, Tafiwa Turner, uh, artists, CEO, tea, DVDs, etc. Golden incense, where you can get shea butter and oils of all kinds. Uh, M O E R, which is making our environment right, and they call it royalty, um, which will be providing catered food. Spice or not also has food for sale. Uh, Sister Dawn in vibration healing. Uh, Charlie Babas Adeziba has uh, handmade jewelry. And uh, again, there will be many more. Those are just some that we have um, to promote right now. 
And if there's anything else, Kanji? Well, I think that's going to be a good vibe because a lot of family lives in five staff that yes. uh, do well coming out. And also, too, um, one of the ideas that we want to have is um, food for for some of the community members and stuff for free. Yes. Right? Um, but, you know, you need finance in order to do certain things. So the contact number is 416-301-7216. That's for anybody who's interested in do donating finances to any of the caterers so they can prepare a separate dish for whether it's, you know, something small or something big, depending on how much finance we get, so we can at least make sure people get some sustenance. That's a powerful thing. Is there anything else? We have to run for break and then we close out. So I want to thank you for coming in. Uh, just thanks. Give thanks, thanks and brother. Brother. Uh, Yeah, I just want to say... Uh, January 8th is the day. Please spread the word. It's an open event for everybody, every single school of thought, Muslim, relig uh, Christian, Kemet spirituality, Jew, um, Nation of Islam, Nawapian, and etc. Pardon me if I didn't uh, mention your group or school of thought. But this event is open to you all. We want to also bring to light right now our community is in need for us to get together and let's do something and change the situation that we and our children are going through we have no more time to waste we have all of our uh, leaders and heroes who have done the work we just got to do it now so i honor i give thanks for the more science temple of america and all the other groups out there that's just that's, it that's that. Medassi. Medassi.